This is a how to lay turf tutorial. First off, ask the customer how much of a bed they want if they're laying on a bed. Get a string line set up. Roll down that way. Fairly easy, just keep it to the string line when you're rolling out. Pucker jaw. And this is a tricky part. So what you need around the outside is you need a pitcher frame, especially in hot weather, otherwise it will wilt and just curl up, which you don't need. And you see here, you can't see no lines where the turf's gone in. So when you lay turf, and for it to kiss into each other, I'll show you from this for example. So you're gonna lay down and you're gonna lay up and you get stripes on it. Lay back down, and where you sew your turf in together, you see here, I'll pull it up and you'll see the line. You get the two sides up in the air, so the two sides are up in the air, and get them to kiss each other, like so, and just knit it in, knit it in, sew it in, sew it in, all the way along the line. It's already been done, and you can't see it, especially in hot weather, because in hot weather, the ends will curl up, the turfs will come apart. You've got to make sure you water it early in the morning and just after sun sets. Have a nice prep. I've prepped up to the rake so far. There's no holes, lumps, otherwise you'll see it. You need two, you need boards to go over it. So I'll, I'll choose, people use scaffold boards, but they're rubbish. Use like a floorboard or a thick, just a bit thicker than ply board. And you have it on the joins and you can't see no joins so have it on the joins and then the next flip you flip it over from where it is bring it back an inch flip it over and there we go all right do another video in an hour see the progress fairly simple guys you need like a another thing you need to cut down the turf obviously an old saw Just break down an old saw like this and when you get to the ends obviously i've cut in around the patio and where you're laying, never lay turf so they lay at the same width, lay it like brickwork. So your first turf will go out, and your second turf will come halfway. Cut it down at halfway, and you have your off cut, and roll out through and around. Always have a picture frame as well, it looked lovely. You get your next roll of your Yule log, your Christmas Yule log. Don't chuck it down on the ground, otherwise you'll make a cellular light lawn. You don't want no holes. You get her out that far apart. Just flap her back over like so, that was beautiful. Then you get the two bits, you lift the two sides, so this side and the previous side, kissing into the air. When they slowly touch each other, you slowly knit her in, knit her in place, all the way along. And it should look like that with no holes in between. It's beautiful. So the turf for this particular project is from Topsoil UK. I'd never used them before. The turf's all right, all cut at the same width. That's what you need. You don't. Know. It's all nice and green. My only criticism: a little bit long, so the lines can't really show. But it's all good for the turf. It's quite thick as well. Very good turf. It's not. I've had turfs in the past from Swindon, especially as shit. You roll it out and it's yellow and it's got sheep shit all over it. That's not what you need. There's only 100 rolls here, but they worked out to be £3 a roll, so 300 quid plus delivery. Anywhere in the UK, free delivery, topsoil UK. I'd normally use Nigel Belcher's or River for roll lawn, but they were working out to be about 516 for 100 So for £216 cheaper, this turf is good. Very good. I'll give it a pat on the back and a rub on the sack. Nice turf. That's your cheese and chip wrap. Tremendous landscape strokes again. Look at that. Beautiful. Cut around the tree, lovely. Borders for plants. All the way around. Borders for plants. Get off looping. Look, look at that. Hey. Pat on the back, Mr. Bruce.